Adams is a local artist and actor who helped to organize the cryptid crawl, not your average zombie walk. She presented some of her artwork along with many other vendors in downtown Alexandria. So my business motto is healing through art in the earth. I find that art in general is very therapeutic um, and it's helping me and I just wanted to help others. So I paint and then bring those works and hopefully they connect with people. The zombie walk was put on for many years by Jeff Phillips, the owner of Tamp and Grind Coffee House. But after he passed away, the event died with him. Melissa Scarborough, dressed as Alvira, Mistress of the Dark, founded the event when she was a bartender at Finnegan's Wake. When the owners were ready to retire, she bought the bar and renamed it the Tasting Room. Marilyn Cassidy, owner of Magic and Moonlight's Mystic Bazaar, wanted to restart the crawl and got a lot of support from those wanting to bring back the event. I just started asking questions um, to the people that used to run it and found a way to do it, to make it happen. People wanted it, so here we are. Okay. She renamed it and encouraged folks to come dressed as a cryptid, which is an animal or character rumored but never proven to exist. Maryland's assistant, Terry Williams, chose one of those mythical creatures. I am Mothman and... Or Mothwoman. <laughs> Mothwoman. I could be Mothman. It's 20. Terry says it's a family event for kids and kids at heart. So if you have little tiny toddlers all the way up to teens, this is something that everyone here can enjoy and you can feel safe to bring your family, your pets, and yourself to. Yeah. I'm here with Lisa Frankenstein and she's one of the great costume artists we've got out here tonight. What's the best thing about tonight? The individuality and the art that you're gonna see here tonight. There were spooky and fun costumes all around and each booth had lots of candy to pass out. Two DJs were on hand with beats to keep the costumed partiers going. For Kate and Samantha Banyan, it was Anna and Elsa from the movie Frozen. I love like sisterhood, like the idea of sisterhood and like She's like a sister to me, and like we're dressed like sisters, and we're just so yes, like girl power, girl power. inspiring others. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> Independent women. Because of the turnout, the organizers plan to make the event happen next year and beyond. Happy Halloween, Joel Massey, ABC 31 News that works for you.